All right, I am at the Rose Point house, and it's really quiet right now. It's about three o'clock local time, so not not the busiest traffic time, but it's really quiet. Um, and just in case I forget to tell you, uh, Heather would be a wealth of knowledge about the rental potential in this neighborhood. We manage two rentals within about a block of here, so she she knows about the demand and tenant quality and all that stuff out here. So I'm um, looking down Rose Point towards uh, McMillan. And uh, it's pretty quiet. You can't hear or see the traffic from McMillan from here. Um, and as you probably saw on the map, Rose Point is kind of on the corner of a, a bend in this road. So the, this is the, the house right here. Um, there is a park right behind us and, and about three houses up, there's a little pathway in between the, the properties that leads back to the park. So that's kind of a nice access. Um, but this is the place, uh, as you can see to the left here. Um, Looks like the gate is off of its hinges, but there is RV parking right there, which you said you're interested in. Uh, looks like they're either gave up on or in the middle of maybe doing a little bit of a landscaping project in the back, as you'll see. Um, but the house has a, for the, the square footage, it's a nice layout, split bedrooms. You have two bedrooms on one side of the house and it's kind of divided up by the, the living quarters. Um, there's a little patio up front. It looks like the paint and the roof are in fairly good condition. I don't know if you can get a better view of the roof here, but uh, it looks like it's in good physical shape. I, I don't think it's original. It looks like it's probably been replaced in the last few years, but I'm not a pro, obviously. But walking into the house, um, you can see vaulted ceilings. So that, that peak there is probably about 12 feet high, and we've got a living space here with Big windows facing the street, um, kind of your dining area over there, and then you've got uh, smaller bedrooms on the right, so I'll start over there. So towards the back of the house, we have first bedroom. Obviously, uh, they've replaced the carpet here. I, I would probably put new carpet in, in here right off the bat. Um, but you can see just a standard bedroom. This room is probably 10 by 11 feet. Looks out on the backyard, and just a standard about a five by two foot closet there. Nothing terribly exciting. As you can see down the hall, there's a, a little linen closet here. You've got your bathroom, another little linen closet, and then another bedroom there. But bathrooms, uh, original finishes, uh, probably could use a little bit of love. I mean, it looks like everything's functional, but there it's, it's definitely dated. Um, this bathroom is probably eight by six feet. It's a cozy hall bath. And then your other front bedroom here, which is just a mirror of the other one, other than this one's got a sunken window here with a little shelf. But otherwise, the layout's identical, size is identical. Uh, and heading back over here towards dining. I'm gonna pass by here and, and we'll take a quick look in the garage. Got your laundry room here with original roll vinyl floors. Just a basic utility room that would do the job then your access to the garage here. So, it's a, a standard size and depth two car garage. Got a workbench back here, gas furnace, gas water heater. Uh, looks like it's probably both original. The, the permit on the, the water heater from 99. I can't imagine that this furnace is any newer than that. Uh, We've got your service panel over here. The cover is missing. Looks like they probably did a little bit of wiring here. So, um, oh, it's, the cover is it's on the floor there. So it's available, just hasn't been replaced. So heading straight across here into the master, you can see it's set up kind of on an angle. If you walk into the master, uh, Master bedroom is probably 12 by 15. There's separate closets on this side. You can see there's some built-in shelves up top. Uh, just a little window that overlooks the backyard there. It's kind of a funky layout. I, there's not really, if you had the, if you had a very big bed, there's not really an appropriate place to put it. You'd be, your headboard would be blocking the window here. Uh, and there's no other wall space that's wide enough for a king bed. So keep that in mind. Uh, and then your master bath. You've got dual vanities here, uh, original vinyl roll flooring, and then it looks like they've upgraded 
probably was a bathtub here originally, and they've uh, put in a, a walk-in shower here. So that that's that looks pretty nice. Looks like it's well done. Probably could use a little bit of a scrub, but it's in good physical shape. Then I'll head back out here to the backyard and the kitchen. Uh, kitchen, all original cabinets, but it looks like they've recently put in some new appliances with the exception of there's no refrigerator. But original oak cabinets. You've got a little corner pantry here. And these might actually, I don't know if they're brand new, but they look, look pretty close to new. It's in good shape. Um, yeah, kitchen, uh, original countertops, original cabinets. Um, looks like the trim, there's some damage on the, the trim there, probably just from spray over time from the, uh, from the sink. And then backyard, there's a good sized covered patio here. Each one of these sections is probably 12 feet. So you've got right directly behind the house, probably 24 by 10 feet. And then they've poured a bunch more over here too. So you can see there's a garden back here that um, just needs some leveling out. I'll, the, I the lighting's bad, I'll walk over there. And then your backyard kind of comes back to a point over here. Um, it looks like there, maybe they had a, a little chicken coop or something back in the corner here. But it, it definitely needs a little bit of help with the landscaping. Um, something to define some of these borders. And you can see there's like garden space here, but it just, the grass just kind of ends. There's nothing to to clean up the look. And same thing here, it looks like they were just starting uh, maybe a, a garden bed here. And and completed it so I can see why this house is sitting it looks like a couple things are kind of still in the works um, but there's a lot of space back here this this garden gosh it's probably well this little retaining wall here it, it's probably 30 feet long just for context uh, and then from the retaining wall back to the corner of the fence there's probably another 30 feet so there's a lot of garden space here for sure and then looks like they I don't know what the plan was back here, but there's there's even more. I mean, this section here is, is 30 by 12, probably. And then there's a shed. There's not really much going on here, but a little storage shed with a roll-up door. Uh, this is probably 8 by 12. But additional storage or a little workshop or something. Um, yeah, let me see. Looks like, I can't tell what that was looking to see if it had maybe 220 in here, but it doesn't look like it. So anyhow, uh, and then we're back out to the RV storage here. So that's the place. Uh, let me know what questions you have.